That right. would help. Try that again. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. <laughs> Leave Sorry. me muted. Oh, dear. <laughs> It's so. one of the mornings, so don't even go. Just don't, you yeah. So, good morning and welcome back eventually to Funnercraft. <laughs> I'm Natalie, and as I said, we're going to be working with one of the most complicated files that we've ever worked with, like we've. And so far today, it's just been one of those days, so this could go laughably wrong. Could be one of mine today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to be doing half the stream, um, working with canvas and showing you how I set the layers up. Then um, in between it's going to be sending things to me to foil and leaf and cut so that we can talk about the orders that we're doing things in. It's that complicated, he's had to write himself a little note <laughs> with, the, uh, the, with the order list. <laughs> Make sure I've still got it somewhere to hand yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I got yeah. that. You sorted. Yeah. <laughs> so, hi Monica, hi Rachel, hi Sandra, hi Mum, hi Tracy. Um, I think it was hi Deb and hi Linda and Christine that you didn't hear me say. <laughs> hi Trish. <laughs> oh dear, so far we, we, we've had to do a, a change of cameras and then that didn't work either, so we're down to one camera. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so apologies for when the scan and cut, or that's doing a bit of scan and cut work. I will try and do my best to angle where it needs to be. Should be worried, love, probably, yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, Bear in mind, it should have taken me half an hour yesterday to set up the file to do this. And it took me three hours. So, we'll see yeah, how we go. The timer is set for three hours. Oh, shit. <sighs> Siri, go away. Nobody asked you. <sighs> oh, well done, Deb. So you got yours just in time then. So, without too much further ado, do you want to take over in for a bit and open up the <laughs> you, file? You've got some new ones. You've got Maggie and June to say good morning to as well. Hi, Maggie. Hi, June. So Maggie didn't come up on there, but it's up on there, so... Okay, so we may not be seeing everybody's comments, so um, enjoy Facebook. So if I don't mention you, you can always pop up a comment again and it might just come through, you never know. Yeah. Um, any questions at any point, do feel free to ask, but we will be doing a bit of a question and answer session towards the end, as we've had some foiling questions over the weekend that we want to cover. So, it could be a long one today, just so you're forewarned. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yes. Okay. So, good morning everybody. <laughs> uh, so, as you can see on the screen, this is our design for today. Um, so it's been... Is it one you've drawn or is it a trace? Is it one that you... It's a design bundles one from the Floral Dividers pack. Okay. Um, they come through as EPS, so just be aware you cannot automatically take them into canvas, which was the fun I was having yesterday. I ended up having to take it into Illustrator to be able to get it to work. So Affinity can't handle it either. So that's one thing to be aware of. Yeah, make sure you've got your one inch gap. For yeah, I'm just lining it up with the one inch rather than yeah. worrying about the outside edges. <laughs> Joe says, yeah, we like long videos as long. <laughs> that's good because <laughs> it's going to be one. Yep. So if I go over to the layers at the side here, you can see that there are lots of bits. And there are lots of bits. <laughs> so the leafing one I'm going to close up because that's one of the last things we're going to do. Um, the border for now as well because I don't need that in a moment. So the first thing we're going to do is the shading. So if I make that just a touch bit bigger, you might be able to see where. Yeah, it's just zooming a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, I mean that a bit bigger for you. So we're going to do the shading bits first. So it's these little bits under here. In our first bit of foil. So all these dark brown bits are going first. So for everything else, I need to hide everything else. 
So we're going to hide the border, the outline, the leafing, line one, leave the shading, hide that one, leave the shading, hide that one, leave the shading, hide that one, leave the shading. That one and leave the shading. I uh, that one and leave the shading. There's a lot of them, I'm afraid, because all the flowers had to be done individually, so we had to go through. Oh, what did that one? Leave the shading. That one. So you may be wondering why it's set up in quite this way. The idea being that if I want that to, one. at a later point, I can always then go in and that have one. the colours, um, the flowers in different colours. So, kind of future proofing the design because it's a really nice one and I really liked how it came out so it's worth doing it so that you could create it a few different ways Would Scalby be able to handle it? Can Scalby bring in an EPS? Uh, I'd have to check but I would imagine so because Scales have got a bit of history behind it Ok what have I missed because we've got a couple of black outlines still on those Uh, Are you sure? I think that's all right. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Is that okay? Just zoom in for me. It's a bit difficult to see from that. That looks all right. It's if it was red that you you should be questioning it. Okay, that's fine. I think you're. Um, I think. I think. I think I've missed any. Yeah, I think it's just where it's got some random black lines around the instead shape of the, instead yeah. of not having. Okay, that's fine. Hi, <laughs> Carol. <laughs> I'm not taking everything off the screen. <laughs> Just the bits I need to at the moment. So we're doing this in sections, Carol. So the entire design is made up of lots and lots of bits and we're doing them in different sections. So we're doing the shading first, we're going to foil that and then we're going to come back and do the outlines, then we're going to do the borders, then we're going to do the cut lines and then we're going to do the leafing one, last and final one. Okay, so in terms of my foiling, what, what squares need foil? <laughs> If you zoom back out. Um, so zoom that's our one out. inch, because that's our one inch edge. Mm, don't think it is. It might not be I don't think it is, no. <laughs> New, okay, so let's go back so we can see the map. See that. Okay. So, so from boxes, three, go from, uh, yeah, go from two. Go from two. So, yeah, because that's our one inch, isn't it? So, that's so two, so two one, three, four, five, six, up down. to seven. Yeah, and down one, so you only need it. Yeah. Well, it's going to be down one anyway, but yeah. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, that's box seven, seven inches. Okay, and then down to three, three inches. Okay. So. <laughs> it looks like a dandelion has exploded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll swap you to overhead. So two to seven and three down. Yeah. So I'm going to go for an effect foil on this one. So on the white, it's only going to be a fairly subtle effect, but if you're doing this on a darker colour, which I will So I'm going for some of the Spellbinders um, Glimmer Foil, which will work just fine with your foil quill. And this one's like a, a nice holographic. I'm going to try and do a few different makes all in one. Stream. Stream, aren't I? Yeah. Have you got your battery pack for your foil pull? Uh, no, that was over by you. It's right in front of you, donut. <laughs> you do not need it <laughs> what Do you want you to using? start? Um, for the shading, we're going to be using the bold. Now, because our foiling goes up to this edge here, you're going to want to move your foil over the edge of your 
foil book so that we're not going to be trying to draw over our masking tape and I'm going to use some a bit of a strong masking tape on this top edge and then I'll go low attack for the other edges so pop that down there and then I have some low tack stencil tape uh, Trace has asked which fold we think is best for using when using a toner. When using the toner? Or foiling the toner, if that makes sense. Oh. See, I quite like the first edition one. Mm. I like the gunmetal in particular. It's one of the reasons why there's a gun metal now in the pack. Because <laughs> I do not play gun metal. Is that iridescent foil? Yeah, it's like a holographic. Um, I don't think they give it the name, do they? Doo -doo -doo. It's GLF032, but they don't actually give it a name. <laughs> but it is like a, a holographic. Not really all on water because you can get all on water ones, but it's just as funky. But we'll see how that comes out. This is not having much luck with the culture, the cultural creations for it at all. Oh dear. Uh, does it, um, cultural creations, does that not work with the foil coil wrap and then toner though? I haven't got that one in my stash on, so I'd uh, have a play. <laughs> Morning, Jen. Okay, so this is where it's going to become a little bit more tricky, so I'm going to see if I can angle this one. Uh, hang on, I'm going to spot so you can see what you're doing. Yeah, a bit more. A little bit more if you can. That's good. Okay. So, I wanted to uh, enable you to see it as much as possible. So well, let's first of all wake up the scan and cut because it's gone off to sleep. There we go. I'm going to go to retrieve data and pull it down off the internet. Okay, so we've got that up there. Now what is important is um, you'll have noticed that Ian has already positioned this for the foil coil in canvas. Because you're doing multiple layers, the last thing you want to be doing is trying to position it all on top of it each other on your machine. So get it right first on canvas and then work to canvas. Don't try and do it the other way around. Morning Jen. <laughs> she likes okay. your velvet bag. <laughs> it's very funky. We, we, we um, oh. when we did the um, USBs, we actually gave them out in little velvet bags like that. But uh, they were only a limited number. Okay, so I have my. Thank you. Oh, come on. Don't try and load single handed. <laughs> there we go. Does the laser printer have to be a colour one or you can get away with just a black one? In actual fact, Monica, for foiling with a laser printer, a black printer is actually better than a colour one. So. What's that? Is that BGG? No? Where's it then? Huh? Oh! <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go, okay, oh, nearly, I nearly forgot to do something quite important. So I'm just going to select all, group it, and then we can fill, and put the fill on, fill pattern, I want to make it solid. Okay. 
Okay. It's a bit more like it. And okay again. <laughs> yep, yeah, Prezi's arriving. Oh, what am I going to cut? That won't work because it's blue. <sighs> Come on, Nassie, focus. <sighs> Trying to do two things at once, you see, that's not okay. Okay, so we're going to go to draw because we're going to use a foil quill. And I have my bold tip. And I'm using one of Cole's excellent four quill adapters because I, like most people, managed should get my Real Memory Keepers one jammed on one of my nibs. So Cole does some excellent little adapters after I said, help! <laughs> okay, are you ready for me to start going here? Yeah? No, I'm back. You're back. Okay, so it's going to take about seven minutes at speed of one, but um, because it's doing foiling, I don't really want to go any faster. So this is a good opportunity to get any questions out there. We will be talking about using up waste of foil and um, direct foiling at the end. It's just one of those days. <laughs> Did you see Carol ask what the little tacks were? Oh, they're also tonic dies. So each one says something a little bit different. So one says be inspired, and then we've got the little butterfly one that says create. And, that's just great, yeah. and then we have Design for Law. Go forth and craft. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can hear presses arriving. <laughs> uh, those are orders, well, the things They're to be stock, posted, aren't they? stock to be posted out, and that we've all had to order. So, so we'll, we'll be putting those. Uh, they're up who, on Facebook, aren't they? Who ordered the one set that we had to send out? Is that Sally? Oh, yeah. It's paid for it. I have to check your, your listing because you print stuff for the thing, didn't you? Don't ask me to remember anything, darling. <laughs> what it is, Tracy, is um, it's not that it only, it only falls on black toner, it's that um, it's due to the amount of toner that you put down. So hence, I, I say that you put as much colour of each one down because the more toner that's there, the more it's going to stick to your foil and pull it off. The other way that you can do it is you can use um, some gel mediums will work. Um, stencil paste will sometimes work. So it's worth experimenting in your laminator with your various mediums because you might find you have a whole new look to play with so that's probably one of my challenges for next week so it's going to be a case over the next sort of few weeks of how many different ways can you foil HCV's cool. I know why the sound looks, we turned it off, didn't we, for recording? Yeah, we turned it off when we were doing video when we were on Sunday. Mm. Yeah, so the one video that we were doing at the weekend, we couldn't stream live because it was with something that hasn't come out yet, so. We had to be good, didn't we? Mm. Did we show them what's around? 
We still need a, a few more orders for our four packs as well so that we can get those ordered. <laughs> What's coming soon? Mm, that'll be telling. <laughs> so um, here in the UK we uh, had a sneaky peek of um, something that was on uh, agenda, but uh, it doesn't have its worldwide release yet. That's all I'm saying. The ultra limited edition, isn't it? That one? No, I think they're all not coming. Are they? Are they? Why don't you check before we set it? Oh. <laughs> oh no. What colour would you like? I, I think keep keep that one as a surprise. Here you go. Thank you. Cool. I'll give you those back for a second just while I um Yeah. Yes. Yes, I open box them, wash hands and then went back in box with clean hands. Random because it's the um, shaking of the car. And I'm just gonna... There we go. So, the other advantage of using a four shield is that we know that this isn't going anywhere. See what it's done. So they can't see at the minute. They can't see. Oh, okay. Yeah, go on then. While I'm biting my plastic <laughs> There we go. You can see that foil yeah, just there for a moment. That's our first bit done. So whilst that's doing that, let's go back to this one. Uh, next, we're going to be doing flower outlines. So let's start at the bottom as we're already down here. So we can turn off that one and turn on that one. Turn off that one, turn that one on. Turn off that one, turn on that one. Turn 
off that one. Turn on that one. Turn off this one. Turn on that one. Thank you. What are our choices? Uh, we could go for a coloured metallic or we could go for um, a blue or a pink pigment. Mm. What colour are they supposed to be? Um, originally they were black. Originally they were black. Yeah. It was a boring. It was a boring. Hence I've I've screwed it up a bit. <laughs> go a nice pink or something. Okay, I'm gonna go for a deeper pink than the pigment. I think the pigment might be a bit pale and not white. So. so I'm just turning off all the layers that were shading, and there we go. That's all our outlines back on. Doing border a different colour still. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like that's all done. So I haven't moved way. anything. I've just turned one layer off, put another layer on, and then I'm gonna send that to the machine. Gives me a warning saying that there's bits that are hidden, which is fine. And we're going to transfer that via the internet. That says, hi, it's there. Okay. So, for this next layer, I'm going to use some. Hang on. Okay. A little bit. There we go. I'm no, going to use some foil quill foils. Um, so, this is the Flamingo pack that I'm using. And I'm going to be going for this nice sort of mid pink. So again, I'm going to just take it so it's over that top edge. Put my strong tape at the top. Before we do the next bit, do you want to show us the? Um well, what was in the post? You can do that while, while it's draw, drawing if you like. There we go. So, so the key to a good foiling is getting that tension right. So. Especially with a low tack tape, you know, I do find it tends to try and lift in the corners. Okay, so I'm going to go okay, back home, okay, and I'm going to go retrieve data. to retrieve data, thank you. And this time I'm not going to bother with fill because it's all outlines anyway, so I'm just going to go okay and draw. Okay, do you want to answer that one? Uh, is it best to do this foiling a bit down the mat so you have plenty of air to stick the foil down? So with our foil shield it's got a one inch border um, around the edge anyway. So you've kind of got that area automatically for sticking down. Um, if you are struggling with placement, then what I would suggest is put your foil on before you load your mat. But with something like this, you need to be a bit more um, sort of prepared and thinking about the method. So, foil, foil where a guide really does help. Go on, I'll let you. I'll let you, I'll hold you talk. <laughs> So, for those who are wondering what came in our little bit of post. So, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. There we go. So, Was we have our new sets, um, which are the ones that are going to be posted out with people who buy the foil quill set, which is currently on um, the Facebook shop. 
So it comes with the universal pen holder and the Sharpie pen holder. And if you flip yours over, do flip yours over for me. Okay. And it also has the uh, foil coil adapters in it as well. So those are what we use for holding these. And this little bit here is a cable holder. So that when you have your foil coil attached, you can attach that to the side of your machine. So there Casey currently... Casey says we're frozen. Do you want to just check? Uh, I'm not my end, Tracy. Yeah. Um, do you want to just type to Tracy to refresh? Because it's okay on what we can see. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold these here while you... That's alright, you can... I do like that purple. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> those are our, our new ones. Will be. And thank you again to Carl for supplying those for us. And yes, it does look bad, Tracy. <laughs> I think Facebook's on a bit of an off day today as well. Mm. Oh, hi Sarah Lou. Sarah Lou's just joined us too. Hi Sarah Lou. Oh, not frozen, it was yours. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh, no, you just missed. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, the four coil co adapter set's cool. So you get three adapters and then you get a little cable tidy. When your um, coilies are still warm, you can actually then just pop it in and let it cool down. So, oh, we're missing one in. Oh, I tried to and it didn't work very well. That's not a little right, it's just that one there, it's just missed a little bit. Hmm. Okay. That's it. So next we've got our border to do, I think, off the top of my head, am I right? Yep, yeah, border is next. I refresh, I missed what you said, sorry. Um, we were just showing the new sets that we have for the um, 3D fun sets. So we'll just show quickly again. So we have the foil quill set, which is there. Uh, which has three adapters and a cable holder. So that's the pack that you get with that. And we also have our good old fun quilt, the um, Sharpie and pen holder. Um, and they are available on the Facebook shop at the moment for £35 for the, all of it. Um, so that's there if anybody does want it. And that's as part of the... That's part of the Christmas um, gift boxes that we were setting up. <laughs> so, coming back to mine for a moment, just to show the next bit we're sending, I think. Yes. Okay. Yes, so back to me for the next bit. Yep. Yeah. So next we're going to be sending over the border, which is this one right at the top. And again we're going to follow, so we can close all these up now, because we know we're not going to have any of these on. That's a nice challenge, isn't it? <laughs> And we have a 
Junita has just joined us, says good morning. Good morning. And apologies if Ian says your name wrong. <laughs> yes, I apologise. <laughs> Turn on the border. Is that all the border is? The two? Yep, just the two lines. So it's just above the two inch mark. So I've got a little thin strip that's going to go there. And this time I'm going to use my strong tape on. Short edges. So I'm going to send that, hang on, let me send that to you and then I can come back to you for camera. And transfer that light internet. And okay. okay. And then we're back to you. Okay. Uh, just put the phone through, but can I open the link and use the notebook? Yeah, happy to wait for advice when the stream is. Okay, I'll have a look at that after for you, June. If not, I'll send it you direct. Um, you should be able to get it, but if not, I'll send it direct to you. Okay, so. What I'll do is just apply this end to. So I'm just making sure that my tape just goes on my foil shield and not my card. Just because it is that strong lasting tape. Now, I'm going to use some of the low tack again. Actually, let's use some of these bits here. But I'm going to avoid putting that on my foil. So, if you have any foil sticking out from. Uh, are the adapters all the same? Yes, the um, foil quill adapters, are, they're three identical ones. Um, and how did you get the cable holder? Does he sell them separately, the cable holder, normally? Normally, yeah. Ah, uh, so they're special so, sets yeah. for us. Yeah. Ah, uh, there you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that I really miss having it because my my uh, cable tidy is on the. Uh, the other one. Yeah. Mind you, we're going to keep one of those for us anyway because we're missing a adapter and we can have it on there. Then. Okay. Mhm. Mm I'm going to go OK, back home, OK, retrieve, to internet, OK, draw, and start, OK, and start. Quickest bit of foiling. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, has it done it? But then you look at it and you go, oh, I need to see when it lifts. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the foiling done, so you can take the foil quill out and let it cool down. Are we on to leafing the or cut next? Uh, cut next. Cut line next, then leafing. Yeah. Okay. So with all my foil, I've just taken the tape off and I'm just setting it to one side so that we can use it in a bit. And I'm talking about how to use it waste and things. Okay, that's set to one side. <laughs> Joe says he's loving the teamwork today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely a lot of teamwork today. Okay, so back to the display. And the next one we're going to show, so we can turn off order. And we're going to put cut line on. And then we're going to send that to Natty. So we're going to go file, 
export. Okie dokie. Tiddly pokey. Okay. There you go. And that's back for you. Okay. Now, just because I'm very, very nervous about <laughs> this technique like jokes and everything, I'm just going to pop a little bit of the strong masking tape on the sides. Just there and there, just in case. And this is going to be one of the few occasions where I'm actually going to cut it with our four shield in place. And the reason for that is it's going to be trying to do edge to edge cutting. So it may be slightly off on this corner because judging by where that border ends and I know the cut end brush. But just here you'll see it almost slightly overlaps here. So the four shield's going to catch our blade so that we don't get any incidents. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So, retrieve data back from the internet. I'm going to get OK and cut. I got my water blade in. My pressure is still at minus nine but that's what it usually is and I've got my speed at one um, so we have got a few little intricate bits and pieces in there. So I'm going to go and start. As if it takes two flints to make a fire. <laughs> yeah, we find it does work better with the spy face, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So that's looking perfect in terms of our alignment around here. Like I said, it's slightly missing this edge, but that's okay, we can always snip that. This end is perfect, that end is just off slightly, so I can just snip that with a pair of scissors and pick up. <laughs> two to tango. Yeah, it definitely takes two to tango. I can uh, vouch for that one. <laughs> so, go back home, and back to you, Ian. Back to me, yay. And while you're so, doing that, I'm going to prep a glue pen. Last one is the leafing. This is what we're going to be doing with some love you. We have done the video before with the foiling guard. Yes, there is one specifically to the foil guard when I first created there's it. There's two that are specifically for the foil shield. So there's one that Ian did, which was like the beginner's guide to it. And then I did a, a more advanced one where we were doing foiling off. Um, the edge, so a little bit like this one, and then we've gone well and truly advanced today. <laughs> so yeah, I'll um, we'll pop a link up in the group for you, Sandra, um, back to the original two videos for you, so you can have a look at those as well. Then you can see where they are. The only thing I will say is when we first did it, I think I originally said it was a pound. Um, but we've had to put it up on buy me a coffee because Facebook threw a fit um, <laughs> and that would only let me charge three pounds so it's gone up a little bit but it's yeah. three pounds for the photo shield now so I'm sending that one to Natty okay. I'm just trying to clean out the bottom of the shield a bit so well we guide for me pen holder me glue blog and we'll pen that back to you. So that's back to you, sweetie. Okay. So, do you want to just go retrieve data and internet for me? Yeah, okay, I'll is. do it. No, sorry, I was just flicking back some on the right screen so I can see. Okay. Please excuse the state of my uh, pen holder. It got painted. <laughs> right, there we go. 
Yeah, it's available to buy on our coffee page, so yeah, on the buy me a coffee, it's still on there, so. Okay, so, let's put it onto the glue pen setting, because we're using our quickie glue pen, and it's mm, reasonably full, so I'll, I'll leave it at two. Yeah, okay. And it's currently got pressure minus six. It should probably it should be, be all right, right. so we'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Again, it's just doing that because we're using the 3D font print one. metal leaf so these come in either little sheets like so or you can get it in tubs that's already broken up either way you're going to work with it more or less the same fashion and we do advise that you have a tidy tray of some variety so I um, use a really old sticks to one used and abused <laughs> Done its way somewhere in the world, Lord. Oh dear. <laughs> It'll get there eventually, Tracy. It'll get there eventually. So, the metal leaves that I'm using is from BB Craft. Who very kindly supplied it for using our videos and there is an affiliate link on our website if you'd like to go through that <laughs> the leaf is pretty yeah okay so hopefully the next trick is to um, not rush to leaf so you want to make sure that your glue is totally clear. So you'll notice with this next bit, I'm not going to be exactly brushing. So if you do have any questions at this point. Um, we would recommend using an external power for it rather than trying to run it off the USB power from the machine. In actual um, fact, we'd insist on it. <laughs> yeah. um, it's not good for your machine to be running any kind of voltage through it. Um, in terms of your foil quill and to be honest when most people are saying oh we're having issues um, usually it's because your power supply isn't strong enough and mm -hmm. that goes for your machine's socket as well anyway, let me paint up. did you drop it? yes I did and I can't see it for looking uh. it can't have gone fast Leave it for no oh, I can see it. It's okay. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> right. We use the Wheel Memory Keepers one, don't we, for ours? Yeah. Yep, yep. Which is. Should say on it somewhere. <laughs> no, that's just your eyesight, dear. <laughs> and that's 5,000. M slash A for the road. 
3.7 volt. But it outputs a 5 volt, 5 volt output. So that's what the important bit. What it outputs. Okay. So what I will do while I'm waiting for that to dry is just we unload the mat and turn the yep. back. Unload the mat and I will do this little bit of snipping while I'm waiting for this to dry. So I'm going to do this fairly carefully because obviously. Is still wet at this point. Get your finger in wet. Just turn that back to. Okay. Go go. There's a little tiny bit of still touch just there. There's always one bit, isn't there? Yeah. I might just snip and that, and then I can do it a little bit easier then. If there's one little bit that I haven't cut all the way round, I don't mind. I can fuss it cut. Mm. You think it's going to go in a minute? It finds a bit to hold on to. Uh, can it be plugged into a wall socket? Um, yeah, like a, a mobile phone charging socket. Mm, yes. Don't see why not. Yep, it should be all right as long or as do it... you have one of these ones where you've got a USB port on it as well. That's fine too. No mm. USB extender thing in mode film and the USB on the scan and cut only for USBs. It's easier. Yeah, yeah. only for USBs definitely. Um, we recommend those as well. Um. Yeah, highly recommend those. Um, they're only about five pound, and it's worth having just to save your machine. So. Sheet, but I'll put another one out just in case I need any extra. What I would recommend if you do get into leafing is to have some little empty pots to hand so that you can catch your excess. And get yourself a Reasonably stiff brush. Yes, please. It's the uh, bristly one. So a natural bristle. The one where the varnish is coming off the end. <laughs> okay. So hopefully our glue should now be dry. So if we tilt it to the light, it's gone matte, and I have my brush here ready to get rid of the excess. So I'm going to start by applying my leaf 
over the top. And at this point, you might panic. So, don't worry, I'm going to do it in little pieces. So, I'm going to take that there, put it there, that bit there. And there's two sides of this leaf as well, which is unusual. So, I'm going to try and do a little bit of both. So, you've got a black, black side, and then you've got a purpley side. Start by brushing it on. So I'm just going to brush gently over the top, and then as it comes away, we can just pop that back into there, and then in case we need it for any other bits. Firm but gentle, if that makes sense. Just poking out, so I'm just going to put that bit of leaf back over the top. Now it will get to the point where you're thinking, Isn't this going to come off? It looks like it's sticking to everything. Try not to panic. <laughs> Most important thing try not to panic and try not to breathe. And definitely don't sneeze. The reason we're going for a natural bristle brush is our bristles can get up underneath the leaf and just lift it off where it's not sticky. Just a little bit to our spell blinders, interestingly. Usually I only have that issue with one where we go to the gem level. But that's it we go. It's a little bit more than needed just there. trying to get my bristles underneath it's a case of just working the brush so that it can get underneath quite a shallow angle like so there we go, we're getting there yeah we're uh, a tier one at the moment here in Droitwich so we're quite low not so lucky with uh, Jamie though and uh, Jamie's in tier 2 at the moment, so he's high, so we're just looking at whether or not we can see him or not, aren't we? Yeah. A little bit more just in there, where it's just lifted a little bit. Which is a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting there. Slowly. So the more you brush at it, the more you're going to get your original line work back. And the little pieces that you're brushing off are going to catch anywhere where you're missing little sections. But I'm just going to try and dab a little bit more just on the edge. There should be a little bit. That's better. So I'm just going to give that a quick brush over the top. Like so. And then for the next challenge, just get that bit back in there. Just brush it in deep. <laughs> oh, I'm not wasting it. There we go. So 
So some of the smaller bits I might waste, but I'm not going to waste big bits like that. Now, if there's anywhere that you are not happy with, you can actually use your pencil eraser, so like what I usually use on the screen, to actually erase away any excess. So I'll pop that up there for a moment. And I can brush the rest of that in there in a minute. I'm just gonna Going with a little pencil raise and just tidy up. Right so I know that there should be a little cut there. That looks a bit better. No. What? Uh, Sandra was in tier one, but we got moved into tier two. Oh. Because they've got a Nottingham postcode. Because <laughs> they're in Derbyshire. In Derbyshire. Keep cleaning the um, tip of your eraser as well, because it will want to cling to it. I'm just going to take that down, play that bit up there. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Carol, she only has eight miles to walk in Australia and just started in Iceland. Getting through virtual customs was a hassle. <laughs> we are currently taking a dip in the thermal hot springs, so if only in brackets. Mm. Portsmouth okay. is tier one at the moment. <laughs> I'm just going to tidy that up. Ooh. What's that? Tracy's daughter can't help in customs anymore either. She's got a full time job with Uber head office. Ooh. She's so excited. That's cool. Okay. So we're we getting there. And if there's anywhere that you no, there should be, and it's missing. Just add it back in. Six interviews cobble on me. Mm, got your masking fluid eraser yesterday, and it works. So does the clicky pen on my mammoth watercolour picture. <laughs> <laughs> the clicky pen is so handy. Um, I was using it. When was I using it? Oh. Sunday. 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 I used it on a project, and the plan was I was going to heat it up and make the lines vanish, but it looked so good in the end I left it on there. <laughs> Didn't it? I would show you a quick preview, but I'm not allowed to, so. Okay. I'm just going to finish dusting this off. So I just want to get rid of any little specks. Andre says that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said it was going to be a long one because of the complexity. We've only done an hour and ten. That's not bad. That's not bad, is it? No. However, <laughs> now do we do it with different colour flowers? <laughs> no, we're not feeling that today. Perhaps I'll do a colouring one tomorrow with that. Um, um, let me know if that's something you you would all be interested in. So that's colouring with lots of different colours and shading and things like that. Uh, what I will do before I go too far is just get the rest of these little bits into my tidy tray. There we go, we have our little 
ball just there. So you can either go and finish it off so that you're going to do it horizontally or we can do it vertically. Uh, you look nice that way up as well actually. So I might do it into a And Tracy said what is the plan with that now? Okay, so I've done it onto an adaptable so I can do lots of different things with it. So the plan being that I was going to do a nice simple card. So what I may do, thinking about it, having gone pink, I wasn't necessarily planning going pink, but now that I've gone pink I may do something slightly different. So I'm thinking a nice simple card, but I might do it reverse, so a bit like how we were doing it on Sunday. And then Not with the aperture. It's okay. Ian's giving me that look, of, but that took you all afternoon. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm going to go Z card, but what I will do is I will answer the following questions and then I might do that off stream so I can just pop that up in the group finished. So there won't be that much to do. So. We had a, a, a couple of questions about foiling that I wanted to cover. The first one being an easy way of using up your waste when you foil. Now, my answer is going to depend on what you have been foiling. So, for something like this where you've got a big open space in the middle, you can still carry on, you can foil that with um, the quill. So just use your background scan so that you avoid where you've taken your lines out. And for something like this where you've got a bit more something random, then I would trim round and then use the other bits. And this bit here, where you've got your pattern, you can actually tap it onto um, alcohol painting. So if you've used some alcohol inks on your Yuppo, It'll have a slight tack to it, so then you can go over the top. So it would make a lovely pocket card. It would make a lovely pocket card. And finally, let's go for that one. If you have something that um, has an entire design on it that is legible, so in terms of having really obvious outline and it's all foiled perfectly the easiest way to do that is actually to get some um, double sided adhesive and lift it off that way so if I grab some um, cheap card cheap white card I had tidy up the other day would you believe that was lethal <sighs> There's an adhesive sheet in there. Thank you. So, the easiest way for foiling is to apply your adhesive to your card first, then you foil over the top. But just first of all, check that it is actually big enough. Because there's nothing worse than sticking a piece of adhesive down to your card to then go, ah. Did that off my backing and it's gonna line it up like so and the top edge is a hinge if it'll stay stuck. It's a very big if at this point because it's been kicking around the crafting for a while but I'm just gonna fold that back there. Now for me pokey tool. Try 
and keep it taut as you place it down. Is your thumb better now, isn't it? Um, it still has occasional days where it does a twinge, um, but it's a lot better than what it was. So, we'll see how it goes. I still put it on if I'm doing a lot of drawing or something, don't I? Because mm -hmm. I tend to find that's what kind of triggers it. Anywhere that hasn't quite stuck, you can just apply it back down. You can go for a more vintage effect with this, which is quite funky. So, especially if you're working with something like um, silvers, coppers. You can go full on steampunk if you want to. to reapply and just move it all in. So wherever you got creases before or air pockets. I find it good. That's fine. three different colours. as well so that we move the stick from the edges. And we're just giving a different effect when you're doing this. So if you want to, once you've got to this stage, you can go in with like different colour. Uh, so let's go for... Oh. Okay. That's right, you can't doing that. Okay.
And as you start to get more and more foil coming off your sheet, the more it or backing is going to start sticking. And it's just where the backing sticking to the sticky rather than your foil. That's a nice easy way of using up your foil. Um, also, if you wanted to do uh, some adhesive die cuts with your double sided adhesive, do it that way you could do. You don't have to use a full sheet. It's very effective. Okay. When you got pretty much 90% of the way there, I'm just going to go back over the top and brush. And it's just going to lift off any excess. So if your foil's a bit loose on your backing sheet, so where you've had your masking tape for instance, then it can pull off more than it actually needs to. So just by going back over the top, it's going to Tidy that up a little bit. Like so. And I'm going to put my hand in it and just have a feel and just see if there's any bits that are really obviously still sticky. No, I think that is it. Shall I just move it across a little bit because right on the, the swell the light catches it with? It's not one of those where you want to do if, if you have a cold and you're sneezing a lot. <laughs> on top of that with your quickie glue pen and do some extra details if you want to so that actually then raise up off your surface. Uh, Jason, that make a great card front just like that. Yep. And then so you give me some good ideas to use at my foil thanks that's Yeah. So don't waste anything. Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> do idea. No, not if we can help it. No green, let me check that. Next, very quickly, um, one of the other questions that we have are about direct foiling. So basically, you um, do all exactly the same things as if you're doing a direct cut, but you put your foil quill in and do it as a drawer instead. So, shall I have a go quickly? I thought we were going to say that if you wanted to see what. We're waiting on the fire, aren't we? Uh, shall we wait, shall we? We'll do that on the other day. Okay. But that's how I do it. I do it to um, direct cut. We'll, we'll wait for a file. I'll be good. Stop rushing your head. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow we'll do... Um, we're not. We're not? Uh, are we not? It's Wednesday tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, we're not. <sighs> Sorry, I was being a bit slow there, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah so there's no no stream in the morning tomorrow um, due to family commitments. 
get more virtual fuels. <laughs> And tomorrow afternoon we'll have our usual watercolour session and we're doing a Christmas village scene, I think we said, didn't we? So I'll be putting the file up for that later on. And then Thursday we'll do some colouring with that same file so that you can see how we can start to get really involved with our drawing on our plotter and creating some nice effects and there's something I wanted to do Friday too I think I'm going to be doing mixed media Friday oh we should do your vote counts for that though yeah should we do your vote count on Friday with um, some MDF yeah, probably before we go and if not we'll head off so time. <laughs> yeah I know time lag it's real pain <laughs> you have to wait for them to catch up <laughs> yeah uh, oh yes your vote counts yes please yeah okay so that'll be Friday sorted I feel like having, having your, your schedule sorted. Doesn't always happen that way, does it? <laughs> no. We try our best to do a schedule, but uh, sometimes you ask me what the mood takes me in. <laughs> and what the uh, IT will let us do <laughs> if it's anything like yesterday. No, I won't forget that, June. I'll go and have a look at that now for you and uh, sort that out for you. Since we're finished. Yeah, and we'll sort out the um, call order as well. Okay. okay. I'll see you all Thursday. If we don't see you at watercolour class tomorrow, if you do want to come to watercolour class and not currently subscribed, do let us know. Um, there may be some changes to payments, might not so. Be. I think it should be okay. I think. So. You think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The man with the wallet, he says it's fine. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. So take care. Yeah, Dev wants it as well, yeah. Yeah, so we can sort out the, the bits on that, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so um full shield along with our other files or on by new coffee if you are interested in getting it. And um I'll try and share a link in a bit. And I haven't forgotten that I've got to do my links from the other day as well with the different files that we're doing. Uh, yes, Monica, back Thursday morning. So, yeah, um, 11 o'clock Thursday morning, we'll be back. Yeah. yeah. I just had to do a bit of due diligence on the, on the one link, didn't I? So, yeah. that's sorted now. Oh. You say bye bye. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to say bye bye. That's fine. You're muttering to yourself over there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my brain's still going and this and that. Okay, I think I've covered everything, so I'll say bye bye for now. <laughs>